Russia's unprovoked and cruel invasion has galvanized countries from around the world. And the bravery, the skill, and the grit of the Ukrainian people have inspired people everywhere. Now, we've made important progress since the contact group was established after the Ramstein summit last month. And today, together with Minister Reznikov and his team, we've gained a sharper and shared sense of Ukraine's priority requirements and the situation on the battlefield. Some 20 countries have announced new security assistance packages. Many countries are donating critically needed artillery ammunition, coastal defense systems, and tanks and other armored vehicles. Others came forward with new uh, commitments for training Ukraine's forces and sustaining its military systems. Our effort is to do everything that we can to strengthen uh, Ukraine's hands uh, on the battlefield and also uh, at, the, uh, at the negotiation table. Uh, and, and so we're going to stick with doing everything we can to make sure that uh, they achieve their, their objectives. At the end of the day, um, you know, what, what this looks like, what end state looks like, will be defined by, by the Ukrainians and not by us. Well, we want to continue to support Ukraine defending their, defending their country. Uh, we want to make sure NATO is unified. We want to uphold the, the, uh, the concept uh, that there's a rules-based international order and the, and the powerful and the big can't just destroy and invade uh, the weak and the small.